Hello, this is your brief overview of resources for bassoon orchestral excerpts. I'm Terry Ewell and I will be your tour guide. If you studied bassoon 20, 30, even 40 years ago, you would have been largely limited to finding the music, listening to some recordings, and studying with a teacher. Uh, for a few decades, however, there have been some print publications where professionals in the field have discussed uh, their suggestions for how to perform orchestral excerpts and also how to audition. And I do want to alert you to those resources. You can find a bibliography that is prepared for you at www.toread.net slash auditions. And if you scroll down the page, you'll find a link to the bibliography. I really do encourage you to look at these writings. Many of them appear in the Double Read or other journals of the International Double Read Society, and they represent the collective wisdom of many, many fine players. An important development in the mid-1990s was the release of the Bassoon Orchestral Excerpts for, uh, I'm sorry, Orchestral Excerpts for Bassoon by David McGill, in which he provides some commentary and also demonstrates those excerpts. This was followed up a few years later by Christopher Millard, who uh, added some other excerpts. And these are excellent, and I really would encourage you to listen to those. But what's so exciting nowadays is that there are so many new online resources, and I just want to make you aware of these. Now you can obtain the music, often uh, for no cost at all, from going, uh, going to the Petrucci Music Library, which is available at www.imslp.org. And there, there are many materials that you can pull up. Let's say, for instance, we're going to use online resources entirely, and we're going to study the famous passage from Beethoven's Fourth Symphony. Well, here is the music that I've pulled up from the Petrucci Music Library. This has that passage. And there you can, uh, you can pull up some scores. There are some recordings. Uh, in addition, you can pull up the, uh, the part just for bassoon. Having obtained the part from Petrucci Music Library, it's now a good time to move on to a brand new website that I'm very excited to introduce to you by Brett. And I don't want to mispronounce his last name, so I'll just call him Brett in this video. Let's take a look at this, this uh, website that he's got. Uh, this was part of his uh, doctoral project at Indiana University. And in it, he has collected some of the principal excerpts. Here we have our excerpt from Beethoven Fourth. And the wonderful thing about that is he's got many additional helps here. He's got something he calls pedagogy, where he uh, provides a discussion of the excerpt, uh, performance suggestions, ways to practice the excerpt. And in addition is this wonderful feature where he has uh, collated little fragments of the excerpt from different recordings. Here, for instance, is the Vienna Philharmonic with Simon Rattle. Let's play this one. Isn't that wonderful? We're in one convenient site. You can listen to multiple recordings. So I strongly encourage you to take a look at this site and the many fine features it contains. Now, having visited Brett's site, it's time to move on to several materials that I've prepared. Uh, one area you should uh, be aware of is that there are many MIDI files that I've prepared uh, that are now housed at the International Double Read Society website. And these MIDI files allow you to play along with an accompaniment at various tempos. For instance, for Beethoven Fourth, we have uh, three tempos set up here. I've got one that is at 126, 
another that is at 132, and another that is at 138. You can practice at these various tempos in order to master it and really get a sense of what the orchestral accompaniment is like uh, when you're performing. So there are many important excerpts given there that you can work with, with uh, MIDI files. Also, I want you to be aware that there are uh, resources that are available for fingerings. And I've drawn from print resources that I found. This is a project that was developed in the mid-1990s, which again drew upon the collective wisdom of many, many bassoonists, many professional bassoonists. So if you go to the Fingering Companion, you can find a section that provides uh, bassoon family fingering charts. This is for the German bassoon, the Heckel System bassoon. And you'll notice that there is something called Suggested Fingerings for Musical Passages. If you go to that, you will find uh, some suggestions for Beethoven's Fourth Symphony, among others. Now, other online resources are also available for the French bassoon. You can find them at the same location. Now, I want to make aware that uh, there are drones available. Uh, this is on toread.net. I've made some drones that are available on MP3 files. You can download those and play those along and practice your intonation for any of the excerpts we have here. Also, some other online use, uh, resources you're probably aware of are the uh, Bassoon Orchestral Excerpts channel at, at YouTube. Uh, my username at YouTube is TuleTube. That's T U L Tube. And you can find that by searching the channels there on YouTube. So I hope this guide's been helpful for you, that you'll find some useful information. Don't neglect to look at all of these. If you want to be an informed bassoonist, then why not search out the wisdom of the many who have come before you and the advice that they have. I wish you all the best. Bye.